Now vow in, now love it. Now vow in, now touch it. Now vow in, now nothing. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about this ridiculously cringe ad in the form of a rap song music video from the BLK app aimed at the African American black community for the midterm elections. Now, this is a stinking hot pile of garbage, super cringe, but we got to watch it because we got to understand what the Democratic Party's idea of outreach is, right? There are certain things that people say they want. Reparations, that's pie in the sky, but people say they want it. Uh, police reform, some things that kind of make sense to some people. I'm not saying I believe in these things, but people want those things. But rather than getting that, and rather than getting anything that might make sense to me, like, I don't know, lower taxes, tougher on crime policies to get these thugs off the street, rather than doing that, you get stuff like this. And before I go any further, let's roll the clip. If you want to see this video, rap song whatever and full thought my commentary hey, i warn you it's kind of cringe but the link will be in the description but let's watch it right now and now i'm just gonna try to react to it it's voting season bro now vote in now love it now vote in okay Let's let's pause for a second. And again, if you want to hear it with, without me, like if you really want to hear this all the way through, if you want to put it in your car, I'll put a link in the box. But look at this guy right here. This is, this is a man. I guess his pronouns are he, him. I don't I don't know what his pronouns are, but that saucy Santana. This guy has a BBL, a Brazilian butt lift with a whole beard. This guy's beard puts mine to shame. You understand what I'm saying? He got everything nice and lined up. Nails and I think he has breasts too. This is very confusing. But this is what they think that we want in the black community. Guys like this to come out and reach out to us when it comes time to vote. Now, he's not really saying the F word. He's saying V. You understand what I'm saying? You, you pretty much know what he's trying to say, but technically he's not saying the F word. Okay, so to get you to go out there and vote, what are they going to put right in front of your face? Sex, sex, sex. Okay, that's that's what they talk. Okay, this this is a date in that first of all where this ad is coming from, but they're going to put it in the context of politics to get you to pay attention because they think that's where your mind is. And the question is, does it work? Because I've seen this same company put out a political ad before. Maybe they got success from it. So maybe they're doing it again for that reason. Or maybe they think this is what we want. So they're going to put it out there like that. Let's continue. Only red flag. He said he don't vote. This, this, this midterms for all the single cues. Want to hit this booty, got to do your civic duty. Now vote in, now love it. Now, now vote in, now touch it. Uh -uh. Now vote in, now nothing. Now vote in, now fuck it. Now vote in, now fuck it. Now vote in, now love it. Now vote in, now touch it. Now vote in, now nothing. Now that's Trina. She's been around for a long time. She had a song with Trick Daddy back in the day. You don't know Nair. <laughs> oh, I know I ain't say that right, but whatever. That's her. Now stop my ballot box again, but my homegirl through put the buy in partisan. Politics be so nasty. Make me wanna flirt you, show you how to be a poll worker. Uh legs in the air, I don't care. Anyone could get it, universal health care. If you <laughs> I mean all right, I, just, I got a question. Who wrote this song? Did they write it themselves? You're talking about, okay, I can show how to work a pole, legs it up in the air, and then you 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 anchor that bar with universal health care. Where did that idea come from? Was it Sheena herself or was it a team of people that did that for her? You want to come before the deadline, come in the jacuzzi, Jerry man, that it's coochie. Now vote in, now love, now vote in, now touch, now vote in, now nothing. Can't let me down, got to stand up for something. Now vote in, now love, now vote in, now touch, now vote in, now nothing. BLK, we gon' stand up for something. 
Okie dokie. Um, I'm pausing it a lot because I don't want it to have to, um, I don't want it to flag on YouTube because it's music. I don't think this is copywritten. I, if it is, that's crazy. If it's copywritten, that means they anticipate it being played in people's cars and on the radio and whatnot. For this song to be played in the radio would be ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. right. No voting, no love. No voting. If the coochie is the goal, go ahead and pause. <laughs> Period. Okie dokie. <laughs> so th there you have it. <laughs> Man. Uh, the cringe, the cringe is, I, I can't even, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> the cringe is real. That was ridiculous. But that's what they think. That's what they think about the black community. Hey, we know y'all driven by sex. Y'all are driven and motivated by sex. So we're just going to put that right in front of your face when it comes time for the midterm elections. Uh, what are we going to do for you? What are we, what, what can you expect in return for your vote? Don't worry about that. Actually, you know what? What you get, what you can get in return for your vote is um, one of these girls from the BOK app. And I've seen the BOK app. I just happened to, you know, I got to do my research and see, got, and see what's going on. So I saw someone in the BOK app and the girls on there. I mean, you're talking about people that smoke crack for a living. <laughs> I mean, rough. I mean, they, they probably like they fight in backyards for a living, like Kimbo Slice, RIP Kimbo. But you understand what I'm saying? You ain't talking about the creme de la creme on that particular app. So they want you to go on there, find you some um, nice young lady. And she's going to protest the bedroom action if you don't go out there and vote. That's what their whole outreach campaign is to you. And people like Stacey Abrams, or is the whole campaign outreach? Oh, yeah, I'm fighting for black men. If you make nine dollars an hour, you can get some kind of benefits. Nine dollars an hour. What adult black male makes nine bucks an hour? Unless you're a server or something like that, where you make way more in tips. You can make you can make fifteen an hour working at McDonald's. How are you making $9 per hour? You see, they're trying to cater to the lowest common denominator. They see us as poor. They see us as impoverished. They see us as unintelligent. So they put things like this out there for us. But again, I got to ask the question, does it work? Because I remember seeing this same company put out some things like this. It might have been earlier this year or last year or year before that. I remember this specifically. I remember being right here before talking about the same company. So maybe they thought that it worked. Maybe they got some good data back as a result. Exit polls. Hey, how'd you hear about the midterm elections from my dating app? <laughs> you know, I, I went on there trying to find some young lady to go hang out with and, you know, drink some Mad Dog 2020 with on a street corner at night. And then this banner came up and said, hey, go out there and vote in the midterm elections and, and vote Democrat as well, because you got the 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 colors here. Okay, that that, that kind of that's something I wanted to talk about because, you know, they got these these certain colors, the the blue and all that. You know what I mean? So that that might kind of be letting you know who to vote for, right? But as I close, I want to say this: that was really cringe, and I, I wonder what else the Democratic Party has for the the black community, the Hispanics, or whatever. I saw your man Joe Biden talking about yeah, he was raising the. Um, the Puerto Rican community and all of this and that. And the third, I, I see that kind of stuff going on. And remember Hillary Clinton talking about, I got hot sauce in my bag and I'm listening to Beyonce and bringing on Meg the Stallion. Maybe they think that all we're about is entertainment and nonsensical stuff. And again, if they keep doing this over and over again, year after year after year, are they right? Is that the way to reach the black community through mindless entertainment nonsense? But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? How do you feel about this super cringe song? Uh, no voting, no loving, whatever they want to say. Whatever your thoughts are, y'all let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. This was cringe. Beyond cringe, for sure. It, it was crazy. But not surprised. Again, I've already seen this kind of stuff before. The same company put out a similar ad before. So I'm not surprised at it. But the question is, how long are we just going to say, all right, that's okay? Because they get 90% of the black vote in the Democratic Party anyway. So they could pretty much put out whatever. They could put out a dance piece of fried chicken. They could put out a dancing piece of fried chicken talking about vote right now. We'd be like, all right, cool, go ahead. No problem. That's not offensive at all. At, at a certain point, it's up to us to change this kind of stuff. Because if we just keep allowing it and keep on, 
just voting however, they'll keep on doing it. They don't really care. They got a certain kind of money to spend on advertising or marketing, and they'll spend it right there on that ridiculous piece of garbage. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.